Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to finally sit down and do one of the most requested videos in terms of I get asked specific questions about the jewelry pieces that I use on a daily basis. I'm not gonna talk about all of the pieces that I own but mainly the ones that I've been using in the past year and talk about how they have been wearing, any pros and cons. I have something serious that I want to touch on the Cartier Love Bracelet because I've been having issues with it and I plan to fix it. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to take you during that journey of fixing it at the boutique but but yeah, basically this is gonna be a mini review explaining which pieces I use the most, why, where I got them from, my overall thoughts on them. And I wanted to do this after owning the pieces for multiple years. When I get something straight away, it can be a bag or it can be a necklace or earrings. I just don't want to review them straight away because of course I want to shower with them, I want to scratch them. I want to use them on a daily basis and just be sure that the wear is normal, that they are just withstanding correctly in order for me to be able to do like uh, informative and very well thought out reviews. So that's what we're gonna do today and I also have a little unboxing from a brand that this is the first time that I try them and I'm actually really excited to see this watch in person. So let's get into the video. So this video is in partnership with Siga Design and it's a watch brand that when they contacted me and I saw the pictures of this watch, I actually really loved it. I'm usually not a watch person but when very specific things, I just get drawn to them. So I only own two watches in my entire collection that I'm gonna talk about them later but they're not the same type of watch so I wanted to unbox this one with you and show you close-ups and if anyone here is a watch fan maybe I can give you a new option out there so let's unbox it so I haven't really picked on it I only saw the pictures that they sent very fresh and young but this is the box that it comes in and you can open it from here so you can open it like a book and you have multiple pages here is where you can see the watch but it's this little planet here it comes with a warranty card and let me take it out so here is the watch I hope that you're able to get a good close-up of it. We're gonna peel everything and start using it right away. It's in this white with Tiffany blue. Very, very unique. Let's peel the sticker and the one in the back too. We have two strap options. This is in ceramic. I'm gonna assemble it together, but it comes with a silicone version, which is always very comfortable. So this is gonna be very nice for that. But this is super unique. In my opinion, I've never seen a watch like this. I love the color. It's like this beautiful white and Tiffany blue. I have very, very small hands and wrists, so it's gonna look a little bit like big on me but it's actually it's smaller than an apple watch i really like the idea behind it so i wanted to try it out it also has this 3d appearance that is so cool you can kind of see the mountains the ocean it's like having a little earth on your wrist and here it says that it has a non-synchronous tracking technology movement that simulates the rotation of the earth and they gave me a discount of 200 usd so in case you were looking to add a new watch and you wanted something different you can definitely look into this one i'm gonna leave the link of the watch and see us social media everything if you want to do a little bit more research beforehand. I also really like discovering new brands and new companies that I've never heard of. So I'm hoping that I'm introducing something that is interesting for the people that actually love watches. Now I'm gonna go to the other pieces that I also use on a daily basis, but I will give an update to everyone on this one after I use it for a little bit. So I'm just gonna take this to shorten so I can use it with this strap too. And I'm really happy that it's water resistant because I do not own a single watch that is water resistant. So that's also a huge pro that I forgot to mention at the beginning. Okay, so I want to start talking talking about my Cartier Love Bracelet, which is like the one that I'm having issues right now and I'm gonna tell you if I still think it's worth it, if it's not. Basically show you the scratches but what happened. So I'm currently not wearing any bracelets. That just for the purposes of this video to show you everything. But a few days ago I woke up and my Love Bracelet was not on my wrist. So here it is. So basically I have the regular Love Bracelet in the size 16 in yellow gold. I'm gonna try to show you the best close-ups that I can so you can see the scratches that it already has and my issue is definitely not the scratches it's that it's been opening by itself like the screws have been getting loose by themselves thankfully this happened while I was sleeping if they loosen up enough you can definitely drop this on the street and that's one of my main worries and something that I am a little bit concerned about because I've owned this for several years now and never had an issue with it of course I would tighten the screws with time I have the screw here but never had it happen so often I was contacted by a Cartier essay she's from Paris and she actually told me that if you take the bracelet into the boutique they're gonna put the new system on it so I'm definitely gonna go to the boutique here in Barcelona and have that fixed because I am now scared to put it on and to lose it on the street while I'm walking or you know whatever when I go to the beach into the ocean just I'm scared to lose it forever because it is of course a lot of money so they do fix it for you I don't think they charge you I'm gonna update everyone on that because I'm taking this one soon to the boutique as far as the style 
of the bracelet, which is mainly what people ask me if I still think that it's worth it to buy it, to own it. For me, yes, because I say it as a classic piece. I love it. I love the way that it complements and stacks with other things. It's very simple. It's a piece that keeps their value, which is not something that you should be looking for if you don't plan to sell the piece. But I like it. I like the meaning behind it. I gifted it to myself. And it has a meaning and a purpose. And until it fell off, I didn't ever take it off. Like this has been on my wrist for years and years. And of course it has scratches. Any jewelry piece in gold that is like a plain surface and also in white gold or silver, it's gonna get scratches eventually. So if this bothers you, then I would definitely recommend you to go for the Juke, the Justin Clue. It doesn't get as scratched and this one definitely does, but it's part of it. I don't care. It still looks stunning. In my opinion, it's such a classic piece. For me, it's worth it. Understandable it for you, it is not. It does leave marks on your arm when you wear it, like it happens to me a lot. It's very comfortable. I don't feel it. I love the fact that I never have to take it off and I do love the way that it looks. I usually wear it by itself or with a diamond tennis bracelet. Now, alongside that one, the other two pieces that I have are these two rings. So I have the love ring in the thin version. The thicker one was a little bit too big for my fingers. And I also have the thin version of the Justin Clue ring. Both of them also in yellow gold. What I can tell you by wearing these pieces nonstop, like I rarely change the jewelry that I'm wearing. That, like mainly the earrings and the necklace is the thing that I change the most. My cons for the Justin Clue ring is that it gets sometimes stuck on things. Happens often, sometimes with my sweaters, like the nail just grabs stuff and I have pulled some of my favorite sweaters that way so I am mindful when I'm wearing it but again you just have to be a little bit careful I don't see it as a flaw on the design but more like um, user issues you just have to be a little bit mindful when you're wearing it I can assume that it's gonna be the same exact thing when you're wearing the bracelet so be mindful with that in that case and with the love ring the only thing that I can tell you is that it also gets scratches but that's pretty much it. Very solid pieces. For me, these are like very basic, the staples, something that looks very just good. It's not flashy. I know that many people have them. They have them for a reason. I love them. They're popular because of that and they're comfortable pieces to own. They're something that I use every single day. Right now, not the love bracelet, but I think it's understandable. So I'm just gonna take it into the store. Definitely gonna take you within the process with me. But these are the two Cartier pieces that I can tell you that I absolutely love and adore. I don't regret regret getting any of them, not even the love bracelet, I would still rebuy it. I just want to change the lock mechanism. Now I wanted to talk about my Van Cleef pieces and I have two necklaces. This one is in the Mother of Pearl and is my sweet Alhambra. I have a full review on each of these pieces. So if you want something a little bit more like into depth, like this is more like day-to-day -day wear issues, um, logistics of things, but they do have their proper review and Onyx versus Mother of Pearl, etc. Same with the Cartier pieces, you can go check that out. I'm not gonna lie. I I have forgotten to take this one off before showering or going into a bath. Not many times, it's like one or two times that this has happened. However, you're not supposed to get Mother of Pearl wet because the stone is prone to shrinking and losing the shine. Same happens to pearl pieces, so I do have a lot of pearl pieces that I'm also gonna talk about, but I have forgotten to take it off. So far, nothing has happened. I know that this is going to probably happen if I continue to do so, so I'm very careful with that. It is quite of a pain to have to take it constantly on and off. I understand that that's the case for most jewelry pieces. So that makes me gravitate a little bit more towards other ones. However, I love the way that this one looks. I love the fact that this one is a little bit smaller, more dainty, casual for day to day. I wish that I could get this one wet and never have to take it off because then it would be like on my neck 24 seven. I do own the Alhambra in the Onyx. This one I've used it way, way more than the Mother of Pearl. I got this for my birthday in New York. I absolutely love this piece. I have a few cons with this too and it's that the pieces um, on the sides I'm gonna show you, they are going to accumulate all the moisturizer, makeup, anything, and you have to constantly clean them. I usually clean them with a toothbrush or something small that can take that away. And I do recommend you to do it often because it is going to accumulate and it doesn't look good. Yeah, that's my main issue and also happens on the edges of the stone. This one you can get it wet and you can use it day to day and I usually do that. However, I do feel like the black is quite contrasting sometimes with outfits. More when I wear pearls, I like to reach for this one too. Do I think they're worth it? I definitely see them way more now than I used to. I've always liked Van Cleef, but I only like the more simple pieces. I do feel like they're worth it. I do feel like they're beautiful. For me, the minimalistic look that they have is really nice and I'm very 
drawn to them, but I understand if they're not worth it for everyone. I have two pair of Chanel earrings that I just want to let you guys know that they're absolutely not worth it, and I'm gonna show you what happened to them. So both of them have been losing the stones, basically. I have one pair that is in gold with little pearls, and I have another one that is like in ruthenium hardware with little diamonds. They lose the pearls and the diamonds like crazy, and they just don't hold up very well. So this pair, this is one that makes me really freaking angry because I have sent this one to repair twice. This will be the third time that I send them if I do. So one of these ones is fully complete and the other one has missing, let me count, four pearls and I've used these earrings less than 10 times. And every time that I go in, people tell me like, are you sure that you're putting perfume or I don't know on top of them? And I'm like, no, I'm not. But still, even if I did, this doesn't grant them to fall off like so often, but I don't like, I don't spray my perfume like, <laughs> right to my ears like i don't even think anyone does that the other ones just came back from repair they had lost one of the diamonds and now they are fine but i kind of don't want to wear them anymore it just goes to say that fashion jewelry is not worth it custom jewelry is not and the price point is quite high so i would recommend you to save your money on this and go for fine jewelry maybe with your local jeweler you can do something very very beautiful these are a great example this is not chanel not van cleef these are from Hilas, and i actually love 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 this one they have diamonds white gold and pearls and i have the necklace version of this too but when it comes to earrings I just want to go for something sturdy that is not gonna fall apart. I do take them off when I sleep because they are quite uncomfortable. Like every earrings that I own, I take them when I sleep because they're just uncomfortable. I mean, I don't know if anyone finds the same case, but for me it is. Continuing with earrings, there are two brands that I use a lot and it's Hilas, which is this one that basically offers real diamonds, pearls and white gold and yellow gold. This is the Wave collection and I'm gonna link it in the description box down below. And I also love using Idol. Hilas is not water resistant because they're pearls and you just don't get pearls wet but idol which i tend to save here in the box they do and idol is lab grown diamonds with gold so idol is usually what i put on and i never take off and i have tons of earrings necklaces and a set of presets so this is definitely 24 7 friendly these pieces i love them because they have such a unique style with hilas but you do have to take them off when you shower or when you go to the beach or anything that is related to water if you ask me i'm definitely more inclined to spend my money on Hilas and Idol rather than Chanel or Dior Fashion Jewelry. Just the fact that the materials that they use are actually fine jewelry and not fake pearls and that stuff. Like I love the designs that Chanel has, but like this is just unacceptable. I'm not happy with the way that they've been wearing and I'm for sure never going to buy another pair of earrings from Chanel that are not fine jewelry. There's a ring that I do like from Chanel and it's the Coco Crush. That I would consider, but not soon. Definitely not soon. I have three rings besides my engagement ring. I've talked about this multiple times before. My ring is at the jeweler. They're making my wedding band as a set, but they're having issues to make it look um, like together. So they stack perfectly. The wedding band is gonna be like all diamonds. I have no idea how the design is going, but I definitely wanted to wear them together as a stack. And it's been apparently complicated to get that done. So they have the ring to make sure that they go perfect together. And in the meantime, I'm using this one. And this is something that I got passed on from my grandmother. So I'm using it in the meantime, because I definitely wanna use a ring, but it's not my engagement ring. Other than that, I have these two that they're from different brands. So these three are the bands that I tend to use. But Bottom one is in diamonds, the middle one is pink sapphires, and the top one is emeralds. I really like to wear these two together. So the bottom one is from Spiritual Gloss, and the pink one is from Daniela Califa. So this is a brand from Mexico, and Spiritual Gloss is from the US. The emerald band is also from Spiritual Gloss. I use these ones depending on the outfit. They have been wearing perfect. No issues with them. I'm gonna link Daniela Califa's and Spiritual Gloss's website and the description box down below. And this one is the only one that I have in rose gold. I wanted to have pink sapphires with rose gold it's such a beautiful piece i love 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 this ring at last i wanted to show you the two other pieces that i use surprisingly i'm using this watch more often now i didn't used to use it at all these two watches were my grandmother's like i rarely get watches for myself so the Sika one is definitely something new i only have one watch on my wish list and it's the cartier panther watch in the mini size in gold and this is the piaget that i have i've been using
using it a lot. I love it. It's very, very old. It's a vintage piece. So you can see it a little bit more into detail. Of course, I'm going to add clips of every single piece. And this is my gold Rolex. My grandmother used to really love small watches. And I actually love small watches too. The Piaget one has diamonds. I love this. They have sentimental value for me. And I would never, ever sell them or let them go. I, of course, didn't include many like cons of the items that I've shown. Because if I use them on a daily basis, it's because of a reason. And I just find them to be comfortable, easy to style. And I just honestly love them. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. But if you have any questions about maybe a piece that I didn't include on this video that I also use, this is what I've been using like in the past year quite often and by often I mean either on a daily basis or at least once a week. I do have a tendency to prefer the pieces that I don't have to take off to shower. Also wanted to ask if anyone has been having issues also with their love bracelet. We'll definitely update you what happens when I go to the store. I'm gonna ask to get the new lock system so it doesn't fall off again. I do want to mention this piece before I finish the video. I use this bracelet every single day and it's gold with blue sapphires and this was also my grandma's. It's just a gold chain. Um, it's a bracelet. Never Never take it off either i just took almost everything off for this video but yeah i don't have a store where to get something like this i do have like a wish list from one of the jewelry brands and it's from daniela califa she has this beautiful bracelet that is diamonds and sapphires i think it would be a very very nice addition to stack with this one that was my grandma's so maybe i would get that in the future this is it for now i hope the video was helpful or at least a little bit fun if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're not done watching I'm gonna leave you two right here in case you want to check them out thank you and see you on the next one bye